Hello everyone and welcome again to Programming in Access 2013. My name is Steve Bishop and today we're going to be continuing with our forms. So I'm going to back out here and head on over to our Access database. And here we can see uh, that I've got again in the navigation pane all of those tables and queries that I've previously built. I'm going to go up to the Create tab and click on Form Design. Okay, and again, I don't really mess with any of, any of the other, you know, form or blank form or anything like that. Just form design. And that's going to drop us into this designer window for our form. I'm going to shrink this down, make it a little smaller by grabbing the edge here and resizing it. If I wanted to, I could also resize that. There's a width here. Uh, if I select on the form, remember by selecting that box in the upper left-hand left -hand corner, I can change some of the dimensions of my window here. Um, but for right now, it's probably just easier if you just click on this and drag it over to the size that you want. <clears throat> All right, so one of the first things you need to understand about, or the things that you need to do when you're going to design a form, is understand what is it that you plan on presenting to the user. And in this particular case, the form that I want to put together is a, a form that is going to allow the user to view the customer address information. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and actually give it a caption of customer addresses. And then what I'm also going to do is I'm going to change this view from a single form to a continuous form. And a continuous form is essentially a form that takes the data from this query and displays it row by row by row for each record. So each one of these records that I have here will show up as basically a new box of, of controls. And you'll see this in place once, once we get it done. You'll see exactly what I'm talking about here. All right, so what I need to do is I need to do that thing that I was mentioning call, mentioning before called binding. I need to bind this query to this form. And the way you do that is you click on the data tab. Okay, again, remember, make sure you're over here. You've got the, the square here in the upper left-hand corner. So that means that I'm, I'm actually accessing the form one control, the whole window. And I'm going to set its record source. So I'm clicking on data tab, go to record source, and on the drop-down box, I have the option of all of the tables and queries that I've previously um, designed. And I'm going to select Query Cust Address with Type. Now, if I wanted to, I could click on this ellipsis here, this ellipsis button, and this would actually allow me to kind of make a modification to the query if I already have it selected. If I delete this out of here just for a moment, I'm just going to take this out. And then if I go back into it and I click on the ellipsis again, so there's no current query in here, this will allow me to actually build a query specific to this form. Now, I won't be saving this. If I make, if I, if I go through and I add tables and I make my query of data, when I save it, it will only be saved to the form, and it will not show up in the list of queries here. So make sure that if you want to make your query accessible, in other parts of your application that you're not going over here to the record source and just clicking on the ellipsis. I do find myself oftentimes um, for a particular form just going in here to the ellipsis and designing my own query specifically for the form but since we already have we already know that this is the form that I want to build my data off of I'm just gonna go ahead and use it right now. Alright so now I've tied in I've I've associated um, I've you know I've bound the record source to this form now I can go ahead and start designing my form and dropping in different uh, different types of objects so I'm going to click on here I'm going to click there give us a text box and this first text box I'm going to move it around here a little bit and you can move these around and you can adjust the size by grabbing these little corners here or you can grab the uh, this little box on the side so you can grab the edges of it or you can grab the corners and resize it makes it really handy And right now I have it set to snap to the grid so all these little dots here it's gonna snap to it which really helps with the alignment so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna make this my customer name box here so customer 
name. Now, when I select it also, you notice that there's this gray box up here. Right now, these two controls are linked together. So if I try to drag one, it's going to drag both of them. The way you can separate this and, and drag only one at a time is by clicking and holding on the gray box here. Once I do that, that'll just move the label. Now I'm going to go ahead and move my text box. I also want to add to this a colon. And one of the neat things also you could do is if you just double click on one of these corners, it'll automatically resize that. I don't know if you saw that. If I make it really big and I double click on this, it'll automatically resize the label um, to match the text that's in there. All right, so I'm going to do that. Then I'm going to drag this text box over there. I'm going to try to resize both of these to make them equal. And there we go. All right, so I'm going to draw this out a little bit. There's my customer name. All right, now I'm not particularly happy with the color because if I go and click on the view here, the gray, I'm just not really particularly happy about the gray. And here you can see this is what a continuous form looks like. It takes all of the data from, uh, or it takes, you know, it's it's basically each column of information, each row of information for my query is going to have a new row here on my continuous form, including down at the bottom. This is a, a place where I would add a new, uh, new information or a new row into my query. All right, but I'm going to go back here. I just wanted to show you. I'm not particularly happy with the color here, or the customer name, etc. So if I'm going to change that, I'm going to go back into the design view. I'm going to select the label. Go over here to Format tab, and here's where we have our options for formatting the text inside of the label. So I'm going to change this to bold, and I'm going to change the text color to black, and then I'm going to resize this just to make sure that it's big enough and it looks like it is just make sure everything lines up correctly and now I'm going to shrink this down a little bit even more and go back and take a view of it again alright that looks a little bit better to me I like that label alright go back into the design view and now you'll notice that it says for my text box that this is unbound. And in case you don't know what a text box is, it's essentially a box where you can either display text or a number or whatever type of data you have um, as far as text or string or a numerical value. You can display it here or you can allow the user to actually type into there. Right now it says unbound, which essentially means right now this text box is not bound to any of the columns here from my query. And that's what I want to do, because right now the form itself is bound to the entire query. But now I need to take this text box and I need to bind it to one of these columns. So I'm going to click on it, I'm going to click on the text box, and I'm going to go over to the Data tab, and you'll notice this option called Control Source. When I click on the drop-down, you'll notice these are the same column names that I can find in my query here. So I wanted to do the customer name. I'm going to click on the drop down, select customer name, and that automatically binds all the customer names to that text box. And if I go and take a, a look at it, if I click on view, you'll see Smiles Incorporated, Smiles Incorporated, Hamster Wheels Inc., Hamster Wheels Inc., all down the list, including now my option to create a new one, which we'll get to in just a bit here. I'll, I'll probably have to make that a separate video. So that's how you basically bind your data, you bind your text boxes to your queries, okay? You could also bind it directly to a table. You don't have to make a query for it. You could just take a text, uh, a table all together and just bind it to that and start working with your data directly into the table. However, I prefer not doing that as much as possible. Um, it gives you a little more control when you have it in a query over what fields you want to add and which fields you want to uh, not really associate. And when we get to actually entering in the data, we'll see that we need to make some adjustments to this query in order to make the data entry work. But for right now, I'm just going to go ahead and go in here. I'm going to continue setting up some of my different options here. 
I'm going to go and drop another box in here. And actually, you know what, before I do that, one of the nice things you can do is just go ahead and highlight that, do a control C, then control V, and that's going to automatically drop that same. It's going to make a copy of both of those controls and just make them new so I don't have to do all the formatting again and everything. All right, so and I'm going to make this attention to, or actually, you know what, I'll just make it attention. Go in here, change my control source to attention, and there we go. I'm going to take this, copy, you know what, before I do that, I'm going to kind of move it around, just make sure it snaps to the grid. Okay, copy, paste, move it around, it snaps to the grid, and let's see, next is going to be the address line 1, address line 2, so address line 1, address line 1, address line 2, it's going to be address line 2. You can see how this is obviously going. Uh, it's uh, you probably don't need, you could probably fast forward through me making this, but I do want to go through the actual full process of making this so you can actually see it happen. I don't want to just skip around on you here. I want you to actually see it. In case I make any mistakes, I want you to see me make them, and then you can, you know, hassle me about it later. All right, city, city. And then we're going to do... Copy and paste. I'm going to go ahead and start up a new line over here. Uh, let's see. This is going to be the state. All right. Uh, city is actually this would be state. I know, really boring stuff here, huh? Uh, state. This is going to be. Zip. All right. What I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to make this two. It's a city or state and zip. All right. You may have noticed I just put in double ampersand. That's because ampersand actually means um, an underscore character in Access. Um, if you want to escape that, or if you, basically all you have to do is you have to double. If you want something to be literally taken as that, you just type it in twice, and that will tell Access, hey, I actually want this to be this particular character. All right, so there's my zip code, state and zip. I forgot the uh, colon here. All right, state and zip. You know what I'm going to do? I'm actually going to go ahead and drop this to move this over here. All right, so city, state, zip. Do you have anything else I need to add here? Let me go up to, I need to, uh, what have I got here? City, state, zip, and address type. All right. So I got one more here. I'm going to copy this. Move it down. Oops. Try that again. Move it down. And this is my address type. All right. So you can see all that. You can see that how my label is here. If I just go ahead and move that around so it's not taking up too much of the screen. And then I'm going to go ahead and view it, and you can see. Here we go. Here's all the data for all of my different customers, each one of them listed individually in their own separate section. All right, we're going to make some more modifications to the, to the controls here. Uh, we're going to have to name them in the next video, and I hope to see you there.